Hello everyone and welcome to my Topaz Photo AI versus Topaz Denoise AI review. Now today I'm checking out a photograph here that was shot at ISO 25600. So this is the preview. You can see there's quite a bit of noise. If I zoom in on that and what I can do is kind of position it somewhere like that there now because we get the flat cap here, we get the thumb wheel, we get the grip, we get the fishing wheel and we get this. And we also get out of focus background too as well. So we can see a lot in this image just in this very small little section. So what I'm going to do is that is set completely on automatic there now it went through on strong if I click on normal here now it's going to update the preview and um oh sharpening is actually also on there now look for the sake of it I'll leave sharpen on and I'll leave remove noise on and we'll see how much of a difference it makes so normal is not good enough so I'm going to click on strong and it should pop through straight away right now the question being is is sharpen introducing noise anywhere I don't see it so I'm just going to click it off there now for the sake of it so sharpen has been switched off there now the image is not as sharp but it is not creating any problems anywhere that I can see see so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it back on along again so we're going to give Topaz Photo AI a completely unfair advantage here now so let's see what that does that looks really good looks clean so the fishing line there still is a nice bit of detail down along the side the edges fishing wire here the camera grip you can see that detail coming through the lens cap that was just very very fractionally out of focus not too bad but very very fractionally out of focus yeah that all looks really good thumb wheel there too as well shutter button yeah Auto focus background all looks kind of okay so this is our we'll say this is our end result for now in topaz photo ai so we're gonna pop over to topaz denoise ai and see how we get on there now so here we have our photograph now on topaz denoise ai i'm zoomed in more or less exactly the same spot it's just previewing or it's just updating here now it's on standard everything's in automatic so we're going to see how that goes and that is our result now we have bit of noise up along here bit of noise in the button and along here so that's not fantastic so let's try clear updating there now and that's the results from clear and as you can see that's a textured lens cap so that looks kind of good enoughish that's not noise there's a lot of noise here though and noise here and noise here too as well so we're going to skip that one we're going to try low light and that's low light uh low light is not good enough so we're going to try severe noise now severe noise is going to be one of the ones that is the strongest noise reduction out of all of them so and yeah that's not surprising that is actually after doing a bang up job of removing all the noise the only thing being is it's after removing all the noise at the cost of sharpness i would think like that textured lens cap now looks completely smooth that is not smooth the thumb wheel there is after losing a bit of definition all the edging here has lost a bit of definition the background has lost a bit of definition so yeah you know not not fantastic so um let's compare this so this is the topaz denoise ai results to the topaz photo ai so that is topaz photo ai and topaz photo ai actually looks fractionally more blurred than topaz denoise ai yeah, the noisy eye looks the noisy eye looks sharper. That looks sharper there. This looks sharper here. This looks sharper. Um, I'm just going to switch off auto on this here now and remove noise. I'll bring that back and enhance sharpness. I'm going to bring up. Now, the other thing to remember is Topaz Photo AI. I also had sharpness switched on to as well. So it's also sharpening the image as well as um, denoising it. So let's see what happens here now. This could be interesting or it could be an absolute disaster. That looks good to me. Again, textured lens cap or losing that definition there now. So I'm going to bring the remove noise back down along a small bit again. This is probably going to be a bit too much, but we'll see. What, so what I'm looking for is looking for the texture here in the front. And and I'm looking to remove all the noise here and remove noise. That looks that actually stopped me talking. <laughs> Thankfully, says you. Um, I'm gonna bring enhanced sharpness up full there now. Remove noise back down a small bit and recover original detail is up full. The color noise reduction, yeah, that's fine. So I'm gonna leave that alone there now for a couple of seconds, and we are nearly there. And once we get this as good as we possibly can, which is that, that looks really, really good there now. So that looks clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything looks good there now. So that's it in Denoise. So let's have a look at it now again in Photo AI and see can we get that better. Photo AI, that thumb wheel looks softer. That looks softer. Even the fishing line going down along there looks softer. The grip looks about the same. So let's see, can we bring back the strength of remove noise and increase the detail? Now I have to remember, this is actually also has sharpening enabled too as well. So we're giving Topaz Photo AI a slightly unfair advantage here. That is super clean there now again. I'm going to bring that back another small little bit. You're getting close. That is getting close. I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring detail up to full there now for the crack. That looks sharp enough. Bit of detail there and that. So let's have a look again in Topaz Denoise AI. Ah, uh, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's, but that looks, that just looks fractionally sharper to me there now. That's what I'm looking at. That is the grip. I can't see much of a difference, but that thumb wheel, 
just looks fractionally and the little scratch marks and whatnot here looks a bit sharper. The one incredibly heavy thing about Topaz Photo AI here is how fast it is at rendering the previews. Like that, that is the one huge difference in the tool. Now, the one thing I should point out here is we have sharpening AI switched on there too as well, so I'm gonna switch that off. That would have been slightly unfair because we're just checking the noise reduction facilities. So if you look at that thumb wheel there now, and look at the details here and look at that fishing line when it just drifts out of focus there and if i go back to denoise ai oh look at that that is definitely sharper that is definitely sharper and that is definitely sharper if i go again denoise ai and we're gonna go back to photo ai yeah there's no look at that there is no comparison in the thumb wheel and here and up along here when you're looking at something hypercritically and saying which one is better than the other then i would say for results Topaz Denoise AI is definitely better than Topaz Photo AI so far in our first image. And as regards speed, Topaz Photo AI is better. But getting somewhere faster doesn't always mean that you're going to get better results. So here we have our second photograph. Now this is a long exposure photograph I shot and I completely guessed the exposure time. It was a spur of the moment shot. I had no time to work out calculations. Light wasn't fading incredibly quickly. Just saw the shot and said, oh my God, I'm going to fire this off. I think this was around a minute and a half exposure. I'm not even too sure now at the moment. But I got my exposure wrong. So I had to boost the image dramatically in post-processing. And um, if I just go back to the original there now. So as you can see above in the top corner here, there is a lot of noise, especially color noise and whatnot because of the fact that I had to boost my shadow so much and I had to pop up my exposure too as well. So again, I guessed my exposure time and I got it completely wrong. So let's see what Topaz Photo I can do with it. I'm going to switch on the preview to give us an idea of, because this is the original, give us an idea of what it's going to do and boom, there we go. Look at that. That is as clean as a whistle. That's the end result. What we're going to do is we're going to go now to as well to Galley Head, Galley Head Lighthouse, and have a look there now and see. And that looks super clean. But it's above in the top corners where I really want to have a look because this is where I had a problem in the image itself because of the fact there was a graduated filter there too as well. So that was killing it off. So if I stop graduated filter, I'd be using that. So um, you can see that made an absolutely amazing difference. So this is the original and this is what the end result looked like. So I thought this was a really good photograph to use. So if we go to the bottom of the steps here now and just have a look and see, that all looks clean enough. So look at the original yeah and color noise dots and whatnot coming through along there now and get rid of them you can even see the noise the noise running along here in the water and that's the original and that's the edited version original and the denoised version so that has made a dramatic difference there now already so we're going to pop the same image over into denoise and see how we get on there so here we have the same image in denoise ai um, so what I'm going to do is just going to go up to the top corner there now again and um, pull that in along there and we'll go in at the same sort of zoom ratio, which I think was something like that. So that'll give us a good idea there now. And this is our end result. So you can see there's still quite a bit of color noise up along here and a bit of noise too as well. So not great on standard. We're going to go to clear and that's our result from clear and clear is actually really good. So clear is nearly absolutely perfect there now from what i can see so we'll try low light and all these are an automatic too as well i haven't changed any of the settings so completely auto uh, we'll see what low light does here now low light should be a good one too as well presumably and we're nearly there we're nearly there and boom there we go wow low light is really good too as well severe noise that's a result from severe noise there's still quite a bit of noise um digital artifacts up here in the top corner so not great from severe noise so it's clear and low light clear is actually super clear that's after an amazing job there now and low light low light is an absolutely fantastic job too as well so um what i want to do here now is i just go back along and what we do is we zoom in along here on the steps so we go to more or less the same view we had in photo ai uh, i've just pulled that in along i think it was something like oh, about that it's a, i could be wrong on that now um something close to that so we're now in low light so we'll see what that looks like and it's just ramping up the preview and updating and boom there we go so again all the noise gone out of the water Everything looks clean enough there now and clear enough. Maybe a small bit more noise running up along here. Not too bad though. That looks good to me there now. So that is low light. We're going to try clear. Clear was the other one we found really good. Small bit more noise here now from what I can see and definitely more noise up along here. So out of the two, I would pick low light. Yeah, low light is definitely better there and it's definitely better here. So that's what low light looks like in Denoise AI. So let's go back to Topaz Photo AI and have a look to see how they compare. This is our end result in Topaz Photo AI. I'm looking at the definition and the steps, the crane there now, the noise going along here, the wall. Yeah, you can see the cows are moving. That's why they're slightly blurred. They need to be cloned out or something, I suppose. Um, there is no noise in the water here. So that all looks really good there now. The color noise is more or less gone too as well. So let's pop back to Denoise AI. So looking back at it again here now in Denoise AI, 
that looks that looks very good too as well. So if you ask me right now which one is better, I'd say, well, Topaz Denoise AI is very, very, very fractionally better. And yes, you have more creative control, which is what us photographers crave. So Denoise AI is cheaper, it has more creative control, and the results are very fractionally better. Now, that, that's disappointing from my viewpoint because I expect Topaz Photo AI to be better than Denoise AI. For the simple reason being is it's a brand new bit of editing software. So I would expect and I would demand it to be better. Denoise AI is six months old. To be around as good as it is not good enough. Especially when you have the likes of On One No Noise AI 2023 coming in hot and heavy. You have Luminar Neo Noiseless AI performing sheer miracles. And you then have DXO Labs XD Prime 2 as well. And you have all these awesome bits of software in the same space as Topaz Denoise AI and Topaz Photo AI. And in all honesty, I think all of them are better. So one of these being better than the other is just not good enough in my mind. So I'm um, really looking forward to see what the next update brings. And hopefully it's going to come out soon for Denoise AI. Topaz Photo AI seems to be getting regular updates. That's it, guys. See you out there. Thanks for watching and mind yourselves.